Good morning, everyone. I'm here with Amelia. It is 34 degrees in Topeka, Kansas, and I sure am loving it. I have missed the cold weather. And I'm here with a little Amelia. She's so beautiful. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the babies. Um, the first one I saw over a year ago, I fell in love with these babies. They're, they're a nice, fun collection to have. And, and you can bond. I find myself bonding with the babies differently. I love all of them. But you bond differently with each one you get. I have three real born babies now and one interactive. And I just bought another interactive, which right before I moved, so I wasn't able to take her out. But I've never had a collection that was so beautiful as these babies. Now, the uh, artist that this was uh, Twin B by Bonnie Brown, and the artist that did her was phenomenal. I just love the way she looks like a true sleeping baby. And I'll tell you a story. When we were moving and some of the movers came in, a couple women and men, and one of the women had said to me, oh my gosh, you left a baby by itself while you're outside? And she truly meant it. I mean, she really thought my Amelia here was a true baby left in the swing all alone. So it kind of got her upset, and I told her to go take a closer look at the baby. And when she did, she's like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe that's not a real baby. So it made her feel better that I didn't leave poor Amelia by herself. And so I got a chuckle out of that, and several of the men thought that she was a real baby, too. Now, um, I haven't got a chance to dress Amelia since, or the others, uh, since we got moved. I'm still putting the nursery together and everything, and it's coming along. I can't wait to show it off. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit while I was dressing Amelia here. During my move, I tried to keep up the best I could. They didn't have our internet connected um, after we got here. They said we'd have to wait another week, so I wasn't able to do too much. I was trying to do what I could on my phone, and it wasn't working very well. You just can't get a big picture on the phone. And when I come back, I see people fighting and carrying on and and somebody getting bullied and one of the people I subscribed to her she said she was leaving for a while and it broke my heart because I really love Suzanne's channel and I love listening to her stories and and it bothered me um we're grown women and we have a hobby that we really love I mean you wouldn't be having these babies if you didn't love this hobby. And the first reason I got into this hobby was the babies. I just love these dolls and how they look and, and how beautiful they are. But the second reason was to meet other women who have the same passion for collecting or, or having these real borns as I do. And, uh... And that means something to me. I mean, I am one who loves to not only do business, but I love meeting new people and, and have friends. And that's what makes the world go around, having friends, people you can talk to, people you can count on. Real, real relationships. Not just internet relationships, but real relationships. Call up a friend and, and talk about your baby or call a friend and tell them something exciting happened or or you're having a bad day call a friend and tell them about your bad day and they're there for you and so I just want to say that we're all human we do make mistakes but I know when I make a mistake or I hurt somebody unintentionally I apologize and once the apology is made it's either accepted or not accepted. But most of the time, it is accepted. And we move on. And we each 
do our own thing. It's not a competition. It's really not a competition. It's about bonding with your collection and loving what you do and, and taking each day and having fun with it. So I just want to say that I'm here to meet friends. I'm here to, to share my passion for these beautiful babies and, and it's not a competition. It's something fun to be enjoyed with other women. And I hope my words reach good ears and that it's understood and that you all like this video. Um, isn't she a darling? I just love this outfit. I wanted to dress her for the winter because it is cold now. And I wanted to put her in this beautiful little outfit. And she's sleeping away through my whole conversation. It just looks darling on her, doesn't it? And I will find either a white or pink bow. What do you guys think? White or pink? I don't know. She, the, there's pink in the in the feet, in the legs with little dark pink flowers. And she has pink edging on her feet. And pink uh, flowers here. And I don't know. Maybe a pink bow would be too much. But if you guys can help me with that, I would appreciate white or pink. And uh, see what happens. But I just want to say that I, out of all three of my realborns, oh, sorry about that. Um, Miss Amelia here, I have bonded with the most. And then um, um, Princess Cammy and then Samantha. Um, but I love them all. All of them. I love them all. Don't get me wrong. All right, guys. Thank you for watching me change Miss Amelia here and for listening to me. It wasn't a rant, really. It was just wanting to share how I feel about the newborn community and meeting other women and sharing a passion. Uh, don't forget, like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.